In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Nintendo control panel. But first, we need to go over why we are doing this. Building a Nintendo control panel from scratch is a difficult task. And I would have told you a while back to just go to Mike's Arcade and buy the fully assembled control panel. But after the fire, they have stopped making the control panels in full form. Now you can only buy the components. They are out of stock on the wood template for a Nintendo control panel, and they no longer put them together and sell whole. Therefore, it's not as easy to just simply buy a fully assembled Nintendo control panel. So what are we going to need to do this task? Well, if you want to use a template, there's a template online in Arcade Blueprints. Uh, not 100% necessary, but it does give you a guide. We're also going to need a piece of wood. You want to use 9 16 I used 5 8 MDF, but you just need to make sure that the control panel fits underneath the bezel wood bracket. This is a joystick mounting bracket, a dust washer that will go inside the control panel. These are brackets that your clamps will pull down to hold the control panel down, a button set, a micro switch set with the appropriate brackets, a bolt set, instructions, these are for Donkey Kong Jr., and then the art and the cover plexiglass that you can get all from Mike's Arcade. Now I'm gonna use the blueprint as a guide, but I'm technically just gonna use the plexiglass cover, set it up and center it appropriately, appropriately, mark the holes and then drill eight holes that the bolt set will go through to hold the plexiglass cover slash artwork in place. Once done with that, I'm gonna mark the button holes, which will be one and one eighth hole and then the controller joystick hole will be one inch. I'm going to mark the bracket because we're going to have to cut a groove out and sink this bracket in from the top of the control panel so it's flush with the top of the control panel. I'm going to have to make a template so I can mark all the holes and the correct size of that bracket. Now before we route the hole out for the bracket, I'm going to cut the groove for the T-molding that goes in the front of a Nintendo control panel. We're just simply going to use our router and cut a groove. We're also going to cut a beveled type of edge where the back of the control panel goes underneath the bezel bracket. You want to make sure the control panel is gonna slide underneath that bracket that is underneath your bezel. After that, we're going to route a small groove for the bracket to sit in. Again, we need the bracket to sit flush on top of the control panel, so we have to cut out a groove on the top. You can see right there that there is a square groove, and once we set the bracket in it, it's going to sit flush in there. Now, inside is going to be where the washer floats, just like that. I'm going to cut a deeper groove because I don't want that washer sticking at all on any piece of the control panel, plexiglass, or the laminate that's going to go on top. You can see there's a slightly deeper hole for the washer to sit inside. Now we're going to have to flip the control panel over on the underside and cut out another groove, route out another groove for the joystick to sit in. This is going to sit deep into the underside of the control panel. And if you don't do this, then your joystick is going to sit way too low and be uncomfortable. You have to cut this out, groove it, and then place the joystick in that groove. Now we're gonna cut the holes out again, one inch for the joystick hole and we're gonna use one and one eighth for the button holes. I use a spade bit, you can use a hole saw or any other uh, hole cutting device. We now mount the bracket for the joystick and there are some screw holes that you can screw it down to keep it in place. Now we're gonna place the washer on top 
That's going to float inside. And then we're going to place a piece of laminate on top of the control panel. I pre-cut a hole to make this an easier task instead of cutting the hole after the laminate is glued on. We're going to use Spray 90. I strongly recommend using this and no other brands. And what we're going to do is we're going to spray the top of the control panel first, keeping away from the washer and the joystick panel. You don't want to get any glue in there and uh, force that washer to stick at all. Then we're going to spray the backside of the laminate, but again, keep it away from that hole where the joystick or the washer will sit. Then we're going to place it on top, press it down, let it dry for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to have to route and trim. Now we have the laminate on and the washer is free moving inside. Once we clean it up, we can now put the plexiglass art and the instructions on. I used a thin piece of two-way tape just to keep the instructions in place. Line up the plexiglass artwork and then put our bolt set through the top of the plexiglass artwork, tighten the nuts from the backside, and then your artwork will be affixed to the control panel. Once we're done with that, we can now put the buttons on. This is simply screwing the nut over the top of the bracket and micro switch housing as you can see here it's pretty self-explanatory there is one screw to tighten down the bracket and then there's the nut that goes through the button and holds in the bracket after that we're going to need to put the t-molding on After that, only a couple things left to do. One, put the joystick on, and two, put the clamps on, or the brackets that the clamps will pull down on on the side of the control panel to hold the control panel onto the cabinet. So let's put the brackets on that uh, the clamps will pull down on. You're going to want to use insert nuts on these uh, with bolts instead of just screwing it into the wood. The clamps are gonna pull down hard on these brackets and insert nuts will give you a much better hold than simply screwing it into the wood. You'll notice I have used, uh, put the insert nuts already in and I'm screwing bolts down to hold these in place. If you're not familiar with insert nuts, just go ahead and Google that. When it was all said and done, it would look like this. Well, thanks for watching The Rexer Show. I hope this helped you out. If you're going to take this task on, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like.